Hi everyone, today we're talking about Macy's stock and we're going to talk about if Macy's stock is a buy. Before I get into the video guys, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't. Let's try to get to a thousand subscribers by Christmas, but let's take a look at Macy's stock. Now Macy's stock is a department store and on the whiteboard I've circled department store because that will be coming up a little bit in the video quite a bit and I'll talk about that later. If you watch videos quite a bit, you know my feelings on department stores, but it currently has 867 locations. And we talk about Macy's because it's had quite a rough couple of years. The EPS has kind of come down quite a bit. It's struggling with a lot of sales. And when I said 867 locations, that's actually a little bit less now. And the star count for Macy's and the struggling EPS means that they've had to close quite a few stores recently. And the star count for Macy's has been going down quite a bit at the moment. Now, the first thing is to have a look at what the stock's doing. Now, the stock is about $15. It is a year to date down about 50%. And if we take a look at the five year graph, it's down even more from that. It has had a massive slump from back in its highs around about, I think it was 2014, 2015. So it's come down quite a bit since then. It's now going at a PE ratio of 4.9, which is extremely low. I think that's probably one of the lowest PEs I've covered on the channel for a while. And also that, as well as that, it is probably the lowest PE history it's been at for a very long time. I think it's the lowest it's ever been since it's been on the stock market. Now, obviously, when we start looking at this massive discount, we start looking at the PE, we've got to kind of get this feeling of there's something happening with this stock. We've got to find out what's going on overall with it. Now, because of the stock coming down absolutely huge and it also been um, quite a decent stock not so long ago, it has got a big history of paying a dividend. And now because of the stock coming down that much, the dividends kind of shouts out it's like in a really good, extremely high dividend of 9.8%. So we're kind of looking at this now and thinking, right, this this is a very nice dividend at a low PE. Is this stock a good buy? And is this, is this dividend going to be sustainable going forward from here? What's going on? Why is this stock down so much? So when we look at the stock right now, it's just been hurt by another bad Q3 announcement where it said same store sales were down 3.5%, which isn't good to see sales in same stores going down that much on a year by year basis. Now credit, they did have a good Q3 in 2018. So it is hard for them to repeat that, but 3.5% negative um, sales is not great. And also what also didn't help is, I've said this before, when they come out in their energy report and say also Q4 is not gonna be great, it looks like Q4 sales are gonna be down negative 2%. So obviously it's not great to see a company losing this money. And it's also one of those, how long it's gonna go for. And eventually is this gonna carry on affecting the dividend? Now I've got some good points about the stock and some bad points about the stock. I'm going to cover both of them and towards the end of the video, I'll give my overall opinion with the company and what I think of it. So the good point is it has a fantastic dividend. Now this dividend, obviously I'm going to talk about it, the risk of the dividend. When we look at the dividend itself, obviously a 10% dividend is really high. And if Macy's was able to continue paying this dividend, it would be fantastic for the company and it would be a, seem to be a good investment. Overall, like I say, it is slightly risky and we'll get on the reasons why, but a 10% dividend yield is, you know, great to invest into the company. Also, it's on a great discount. You know, when we look at the stock, I like to buy stocks that have been discounted loads and that's potentially where you get the high dividend yield. And is it then a good opportunity to go into the stock because of the dividend and getting that high dividend yield that you'll be able to get from the company. And also it seems like it's quite attractive because it's at the lowest P that the stock has ever been at. Now, granted, there's a lot of reasons why it's down at its lowest P, but nevertheless, it is now starting to say that it's starting to get to the correct prices to reflect the, the risk that does come with this company overall. And when I also checked to see what the insiders were doing, the insiders seem to be buying the stock quite a bit over the last kind of six months and multiple insiders have been buying the stock so it seems like the insiders have a game plan of how they're going to turn this company around. And because of that, they're starting to buy the stock and they believe in themselves. So that's also a strong point that the insiders are kind of believing that this is going to eventually turn out okay for Macy at the moment for these sort of prices that it's trading at. So we'll get to the bad points. And the first one is the department store. Now, I don't like, and I've also put online sales slowing down as well. And department stores are companies that I tend to not like to get into because they are really struggling at the moment. They are having a lot of problems with the online presence of Amazon. You know, Amazon, if any, goes into any area, um, it, it kind of destroys a lot of companies. Uh, and yeah, department stores for me, they um, obviously are struggling massive right now. It's one of the, you know, a lot of stocks in department stores are selling off quite now. It's one of 
the areas that are still quite you know sold off at the moment a lot with a lot of uh, car manufacturers are sold off so department stores are for me uh companies that are struggling to grow and i like to get into companies that still have good growth and i like to buy stocks that have potential for the stock price to go up as well as paying a dividend just like ultra stock and at the moment the the department store is definitely struggling for macy because it is having negative growth right now online sales are slowing so when we look at the transition to online like what walmart have done and they're still managing to grow their online sales macy's online sales are slowing so it looks like their attempt to kind of push that area is struggling, which is the one thing I look for in department stores is how much are they improving their online sales? Because that's where they're going to have to get a lot of the growth from. And it's struggling there. The dividend cut, the dividend cut, obviously is probably the dividend is the strongest point about this stock. And the potential for a dividend cut in this stock is getting a lot stronger now because if it carries on doing these neg negative sales growth, then that means that the company eventually will get to a point where they might not be able to pay the dividend and they'll also have to cut the dividend. There's also a few rumours that management are looking to restructure the company and maybe cut the uh, cut the dividend to free up some cash and they will eventually you know, be able to kind of restructure the company with that cash. Now, obviously, we'll see what happens with the dividend, but it does look a little bit more risky that if you're solely getting into the dividend, maybe two years down the line, this dividend might not be around for too much longer or it will be getting cut from where it will be. And also with the EPS and revenue sales growth, that will affect what is going on with the company. And if it carries on doing sales, negative sales growth, it's not going to look for the company. Now, I haven't put balance sheet on either of these for one reason, because some people take it as a good balance sheet and some take it as a balance, bad balance sheet. Now, these are a fair bit of debt on that balance sheet, as well as there being a fair bit of debt that has come down a little bit, I have to say, over the last few years. Um, a lot of people look at the balance sheet and go, you know what, because what happens with Macy is they actually own a lot of their locations. Macy are able to sell off the locations. And like we said earlier, this is why the locations have been dropping. And they are able, because they own them, they sell them and they get the money for the locations that they've sold off. And a lot of them locations do tend to go up in value since they've bought them. And it's hard to value some of the locations. So some of the, how some of the locations are being valued. People are saying that maybe... Um, if they were to sell some of them locations that are in great locations, they will actually make a lot more money for the company than what people are saying that's kind of projected on that balance sheet right now. So that's something to be careful of. But like I say, if you're selling locations, you obviously, you know, you might get rid of some bad stores that aren't making you money at the same time. You are losing some of your storefronts and eventually there's a point where you go, you can't sell anymore to cover what's going on with the balance sheet right now. So I don't think the balance sheet's amazing. It's not the worst, um, but for me, it was kind of like in the middle, so I'm not going to put it on a good or bad point. Overall, my opinion with Macy's is that it's a very attractive dividend, but when I look at the kind of risk with it and the current, you know, how management are going to deal with this current sales drop, um, that's the big point for me. Now, I think that I think management might come out with a big massive game plan of how they're going to turn it around. But when I look at Macy's start, I look and think, there's too much negative growth at the moment, like growth and even flatlining, it's negative. And for me, I would have to see this company start to do some positive EPS growth, some positive revenue growth before I kind of go, you know what, the stock price will start going up a little bit from here. And also that dividend's safe and I'll get that dividend in. So for me, when I look at Macy's stock right now, just a little bit too much risk, just too much negative growth at the moment. And like I say, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to see what management do and hopefully they're able to turn around that EPS and that, you know, the sales growth of the stores and stop that from going negative. And then maybe I'll have a rethink about the company. But for me right now, Macy's one that I'm going to pass on until management kind of deal with a situation and try to turn this company around a little bit more for me. So that's me talking about Macy's stock, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.